Hello, and in this demonstration I'll be showing you how to install Centerprise Data Integrator uh, version 5. Uh, to install uh, Centerprise Integrator version 5, uh, you must do two things. One, run the executable that you are uh, either downloaded or given a link to, uh, and then uh, enter the licensing information. So the first thing is to find the install that you've downloaded. Uh, right click and install or double click to begin the process. It must be run at, in an administrative mode. Uh, click yes when it asks you if you want to install. Uh, at this point, you will want to navigate through the wizards. You'll get the install shield uh, uh, message box telling you that it's going to install. And then you'll want to click through the navigation buttons here at the bottom. So by clicking the next, uh, you want to uh, say yes, I agree to the license agreement. Say yes. Okay. And then just enter in your company name and other credentials. Now on this screen, you have a couple of options on how to install it. Uh, the first option is basically studio only default, and this will only install the client tool, not the server. If you do not ins install the server or the engine piece, you will not be able to move or transfer any data, but you will still be able to create the mappings. Uh, the second option here from the bottom, uh, studio and server default. This installs the client as well as the studio in the default locations with the default options. And custom gives you the option to install it in a different location as well as do things such as not start the server automatically and also which port to, port to uh, install the server on. If you have any in, uh, trouble with the installation when installing the server, uh, be sure to check the custom option and then uncheck the start service uh, as soon as installation continues. So in this case, I will install uh, both the, stu uh, the studio and the server in the default location. Clicking next brings me to the install screen, so I say install and uh, it's going to run through and install everything at this point. At this point, it's trying to uh, install the Centerprise uh, server and uh, run it. Uh, if you do get uh, any problem with the installer, it might be because of permission issues where you did not run it as an administrator and you do not have permission to install the service. Uh, if that happens, uh, be sure to go back and check the custom option and uncheck the start service upon, uh, during installation. Okay, now that we've run the installer, click the Finish button. And the next thing you want to do, now now Centerprise uh, Integrator is installed, uh, the next thing you want to do is enter the licensing information. So to do that, uh, first we'll go to the uh, All Programs, find the Astera Software folder, uh, click on the Centerprise Data Integrator 5 shortcut to the executable. This will bring up the splash screen, followed by uh, licensing screen. At this point, fill in uh, your name and organization information. It's not uh, required that you have to fill in something. Uh, and then enter in uh, one of the keys you've received from us. Uh, if this is a trial, you're going to want to enter in the key that begins with, uh, has a C as a third letter in it. So most likely it starts with a PCC. So copy this one and paste it into the oops, 
the serial number text box and then click register. If you do not have a key, you can click the get trial key to be able to download one from the website. That trial key. Click register or unlock depending on what your button says. And at this point it's contacting uh, the registration server online to register that key. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, here I have my eight, uh, eight days remaining. Uh, at this point, I can click Try if this is an evaluation uh, key. Do not click the Register button as this is to enter in a, a separate key uh, used for purchase. So at this, at the, once you re reach this screen, click the Try button. Okay, and at this point, you now have the client uh, set up and licensed and ready to go for your trial. You click your About, you can see your license key here. Uh, now go to the Server Explorer, and this is it where your server is registered. To license the server, if you have Enterprise Edition, if you do not have Enterprise Edition, you're just using Standard or Professional, uh, you pretty much you can stop here. If you have the Enterprise Edition and you need to license the server as well, uh, you need to do that also through the Start menu. So click on Start, All Programs, Sarah Software, Center for Data Editor 5, and run the Server License Manager executable. Here you'll get a very similar screen to when you registered the client. Here it'll say register Astera uh, data transfer instead. So again, you can enter in your name, organization, and then the serial key that it was provided to you. In this case, the key should, or the serial number should, have the third character as an S representing server. At this point, click the register button. Again, it'll contact. Uh, registration server online. If uh, the machine you're installing this on does not have internet access, you can contact us to receive a manual code for entry. Again, do not click the register button, click the try button if you're using an evaluation key. You'll get a message saying your license has been updated, and then you'll be hit with the uh, server management screen. So at this point, you're done. You do not need to click unlock and activate or any of the other buttons. So just close this window. From the client application, you can now you now have to restart the server for the license to take effect. Click on Stop Server, and if you get this message, cannot open Astera Integration Server on a certain computer. Uh, this is due to a permission issue. Uh, so to do to do it manually, either just restart the computer, or you can do restart the service manually by going to the service Windows Service Control Monitor. Under Services. Find the Astera Integration Server 5 service and click the Restart button. At this point, the service has been restarted. You can confirm this by going back to the client and clicking on the information button for the server, highlighted server. Click this button, and you should see your license key along with the expiration date here. So uh, that concludes how to uh, install Centerprise Data Integrator and set up the licensing for it. At this point, you should be able to uh, start your data flows and running jobs appropriately.